Konnichiwa guys and girls, Mustayaki here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing my channel. And I wish everyone a happy new year. I know it's kind of late, but I didn't have the chance to tell everyone. And 2011 was kind of a bad year for me. A lot of uh, things happened and I hear a lot of people around me saying the same thing. So I'm interested in uh, how was 2011 in general for you? Was it good? Was it bad? Let me know. And I want to make the best or the most out of 2012 and I've got some great goals for this year. Uh, one of my goals for this year is that I want to make some more videos. I want to make videos about how to become uh, a mangaka or a mangaka. Uh, not that I'm an expert, but I will show you a quick list of the materials I want to go through. Um, okay, um, this is my list. I've got nine contents and the first one is how to become a mangaka. There's a quick in introduction. Uh, a preparation for becoming a mangaka. The second one is the story, uh, the main concept, structure, setting. The third one is the character design, protagonist, the main character, antagonist, the villain, uh, supporting characters, fillers, and extras. The fourth one is an environment design or environmental design, um, how to build your stage and character fitting. The fifth one is a storyboard, uh, the tools, style, and graphic designer, director and editor so you're not only going to be an artist or a story writer you also have to be a director and editor. The sixth one is the manuscript so how can you um, make from your storyboard the manuscript it's for the real for the real thing you're going for the real thing then. Uh, the tools, skills and the inking. The seventh chapter is from paper to digital so if you doing everything on a traditional way, making it on paper, I will show you how you can scan it and how you can clean it and make it uh, digital actually. The eighth chapter is uh, Manga Studio. Then we go over the panels, the toning, effects, text and exporting your manga and then your work is finished. The ninth and the last chapter is about publishing. So after you've done all of your work, uh, your, your manga is ready then we go over some, some publishing stuff uh, like websites, social media, deviant art forums just to talk about uh, how you can reach your, your readers and how you can get feedback from them. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through all these videos because I want to make uh, one video uh, for each chapter and I don't know if I'm gonna make it uh, for this year but uh, to make a start would be really nice. So that was my uh, first goal and the second goal is uh, that that's more important it's my uh, it's my manga I put a boy. My goal is to complete at least 10 chapters this year. I don't know yet how many pages there will be in it but having a complete tankobon finished by the end of this year that will really be great really be, be that will really be great and I also wanted to mention that my first episode is online right now so maybe some of you have seen it if you haven't please read it and let me know what you think and if you like it and want to support me please leave a like on my Facebook page uh, I would really appreciate it it would mean the world to me uh, you can find my manga and the link of the Facebook in the description down here uh, there's also a website of iPodaboy iPodaboy.com of course if you want to receive a newsletter about uh, next chapters or more information about I Put a Boy, uh, you can either sign up or leave your email address on the website. And that's it for now. Uh, I have to get back on my uh, my second chapter. Uh, my second chapter that will be available on the sixth of February, two thousand twelve. Thank you for watching. I will make some more videos soon. Please support me by liking it on Facebook and you can also uh, follow me on Twitter and DeviantArt. And yeah, keep drawing, keep reading, keep breathing, keep doing what you're doing and uh, Janet.